कुछ बांटना है गवर्नमेंट को राइट तो वो इक्वालिटी दिखना चाहिए वो एंड रिजल्ट आना चाहिए राइट बिल्कुल एंड जो रिजल्ट है वहां पर हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट सोशलिज्म राइट which is a meta ideology we had already talked about you know liberalism modern liberalism and new liberalism and we saw that the liberalism was challenged by one alternative ideology that was socialism what was that now if you look at if we see that the word socialism what do you what do you mean by the word even the word socialism has root word for society meaning share this word has come from so society right what do you mean by society society right it means share right share what do you mean by share it means something which is Common. Right, we share many things at our household. We share food. We share, you know, the room. We share certain goods. Right, we share money with our family members. Right, and if you look at the this word, even first time appeared in a magazine in UK, and that magazine was Cooperative Magazine. It was a, a cooperative magazine, right? And that, you know, the word was called. This word appeared in this magazine. And if you look at the initial, you know, uh, thinkers was basically Robert Owen in UK and Henry de Saint Simon. in the france right so basically they you know argued that we don't believe in capitalism right so all follower of robert owen robert owen in uk and saint simon saint simon in france they were the early you know leaders who talked about socialism now basic things you must understand we have already talked about liberalism and we saw that liberalism was a, a revolutionary idea evolved in 17th century right even that traveled in 18th century right which also traveled in 19th century right and by the mid of 19th century by the mid of 19th century right liberalism faced challenge right liberalism faced challenge from an alternative ideology that is called socialism now if you look at you know liberalism what was the liberalism followed liberalism talked about you know forcing they were on rationality if you look at liberalism was based on rationality this is a very much rational life modern life what is a rational life rational life is individual life so if you look at individualism was a very essential part of you know liberalism we talked about freedom was a core value freedom was a core value of liberalism not only freedom but of you they talked about rights right rights right to life liberty and property right so if you look at the early liberals like john locke jeremy bentham who talked about certain essential part of liberalism right what was that you know they believe that this is a rationalism you know 
we can live our life right we should think on the basis of rationality reason right we should cultivate our logic and then we should live our, our life and you know that would be the best life right and what would be the best life the best life would be you know organized on the basis of certain features like individualism so they give priority to individualism over you know the society or a state or religion or church right they talked about freedom right freedom is a core value of liberalism now if you look at you know they focused on individual rights right to life liberty and property now if you look at they talked about you know state that is talked about limited state limited state right they talked about state should be a limited one right right and if you look at another essential features of they also talked about tolerance right they talked about the present you know tolerance pluralism right they talked about constitutionalism right constitutionalism right so that they also talked about equality equality of opportunity equality before law equality of opportunity equality before law principle of non discrimination this these were the basic assumptions of liberalism and liberalism traveled you know you know was very much dominant idea at one hand it was struggling with feudalism if you look at feudalism in the medieval era even you know in the modern era feudalism was emphasizing on the importance of god importance of religion importance of church right and but they if you look at liberalism rejected the divine right theory and it talked about a state is a product of modern you know contract now this ideology traveled 250 years 17th century 100 year 18th century 100 year mid of 19th century 250 years so 250 years you can see that is a one ideology that domain remain dominant that was liberalism what happened what went wrong with liberalism if you look at liberalism right they talked about if we live our life on the basis of logic on the basis of rationality on the basis of reason right if we allow individual freedom if we tolerate to become tolerant if rights of individual is secured right to life liberty and property right if the state would be limited what adam smith called legis fair state you know the all together we will grow it will bring happiness and prosperity and good life right for everyone but if you look at after 250 years the result was something else now can you tell me what was the result if you look at after 250 years what was outcome what was the outcome of liberalism in europe yes anyone yeah so if you look at the liberalism which 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 had economic phase capitalism right which produced a capitalism as a economic phase yeah that produced economic inequality right that produced exploitation that produced exploitation very good very good then that produced concentration of wealth in few hand and mass level vulnerability concentration of wealth in few hand 
एंड यू नो मास लेबल वेबल राइट देन वॉट हैपन देर वॉज इन नो देर इज इन नो यू नो एनी रूल्स राइट देर इज इन नो फिक्स वेजेज देर वॉज इन नो वीकली होलीडेज राइट देर वॉज यू नो ऑफ कोर्स मॉरल डिग्रेडेशन मॉरल करप्शन राइट सो देर इज यू नो यू नो नो फिक्स वेजेज राइट नो वीकली होलीडे then there is a no you know uh working hour fixed working hour no fixed working hours right the con- there is a wide spread disease and lack of education uh, among the working class very good child very good there is you know wide spread disease wide spread poverty wide spread vulnerability and lack of education among the working class right why the spread you know this is you know this is and lack of education lack of education among working class now look at what else the most things was working class since if you look at the liberalism which produced capitalism capitalism means you know the industrial society there was the industrial revolution in the west and that produced urban society the most important thing was that if you look the working class was mostly unorganized that was a problem if you look at the working class working class was unorganized right and their voice was not heard and their voice and their voice was not heard now if you look at in such context what happened the students of the university right the professor of university actually started talking about starting attacking about uh, attacking to liberalism and they used to say we don't believe in you know liberalism we believe we don't believe in such rationality we also believe in rationality it's not that we are not rational we this because if you look at you know 17 18th 19th century it was a age of you know renaissance reformation and enlightenment it had great impact on western society you know the development of science and technology innovations in the industrializations it has large impact on the working class as well so if you look at you know the intellectuals intellectuals you know of uk and you know france you know argued that you know we don't believe in liberalism but what we believe in socialism right intellectual of uk and france argued that we don't believe in you know capitalism right i will write liberalism and capitalism simultaneously because capitalism and liberalism both are the same one is a philosophy another is economics so both are the two sides of the same coin right so they believe that we don't believe in liberalism or capitalism rather we believe in right we believe in socialism right now it's not liberalism which is rational but it is socialism which is rational if you look at liberalism and or capitalism 
with thought, with thought that living life we must live a rational life socialists agree that we must live a rational life they agree yeah we must live a rational we must live a rational life they also agree that yes we must live a rational life there is an agreement on rationality we must live a rational life right then what is the difference the difference is understanding of human nature if you look at here you know the liberals believe that human nature that human is rational right human is rational and they are you know egoistic they are egoistic and competitive they are competitive that is understanding of human nature right but if you look at they thought that no human is not egoistic right or competitive human are is cooperative human cooperate each other they are sympathetic they have pity right they have sympathy towards the others right so human cooperate each other right human being human being cooperate each other so there is a different understanding of human being one understood that human being is rational but they are egoistic and they are competitive they also believe that human being is rational but they are not competitive they are not egoistic right they live in society right and they are cooperative right they coordinate and cooperate each other of course human being is a rational being making sense to you right human being being is uh, inseparable to the from the society right human being are social creature human beings are social creatures right right social creatures right now if you look at you know the human being are shaped by society now if you look at understanding if you look at liberalism socialism post liberalism let me compare compare then you can understand socialism so they think that human nature is egoistic so liberals understanding of human nature is different than of the socialism if you look at me here human nature what is human nature man is rational they also believe that man is rational they believe man is competitive in egoistic they don't believe man is egoistic and competitive they don't believe man is cooperative right man is cooperative they they are man is very much integral to the society right they talk that no so they don't give importance to the society if you look at liberals liberals that do not give importance to the society but if you look at social socialists they give importance to the society man is cooperative they are social creatures right man has you know developed many things from the society itself right so man is cooperative rather than a competitive right we cannot think uh, you know man with our society man is a part of the society look at aristotle aristotle also talked about man by nature is a social animal right so he talked about they talked about you know man is you know very much integral 
to society right now this is a difference of understanding on human nature now if you talk about you know society what is society according to liberals yeah what is society according to liberals yeah society is a product of conduct it is a product of contract and you know it is a society is a congregation of individuals congregation of individual and individual is prior over society individual is prior over society now if you look at liberals liberals gives priority to individual it gives priority to individual than to the society right yeah very good now if you look at socialist they talked about society is prior if you look at you know here society is prior than the man society is prior to individual right now if you look at they gives priority to individual they give priority to society right if you look at individual is a part of the society individual is part of the society this is understanding of the socialist even not before this was a thinking like look at the, um, aristotle who thought that or 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 plato who thought that the individual exists only when the society exists there is no existence of existence of individual without society society play a very very important role in shaping personality and development of individual themselves right individual learn many thing from the society so society is prior than the individual am i making sense am i making sense the understanding now two concept we thought we just cleared it right the human nature and understanding of society now if you look at again the under you know if you look at you know uh, for example freedom what liberals talked about freedom what is the liberal understanding of freedom right it is a core concept right it is a core concept and and liberty means the absence of external interference and liberty means and freedom liberty means absence of external interference right that is negative liberty we already talked about now here if you look at socialist socialist is not concerned about you know the liberty he concerned about unfreedom socialist is concerned about unfreedom unfreedom means exploitation that capitalism had produced from the last 250 years so socialist is more concerned about unfreedom exploitation right alienation 
right? If you look at socialists, they are concerned about unfreedom, exploitation, alienation, alienation, right? Produced by, right? Capitalism. Am I making sense to you? Right? If you look at liberalism, liberals think about freedom, they think about no. You know, they, they were more concerned about unfreedom, exploitation, and alienation produced by capitalism. And you are aware about alienation, the theory of alienation, what Marx talked about. Right? Now, next point, look at the rights. Rights. Now, what is liberals' understanding of rights? What is the liberal understanding of rights? Right, right is absolute, well, of course. Right, individual is self sovereign They believe in autonomy of the self. If you look at liberals, you know, liberals believe in autonomy of the self. Right, so individual has right to life, liberty and property. Individual has, you know, inalienable right. Inalienable rights to life, liberty, and property. And property. What do you mean by inalienable? Matlab usko alag nahi kar sakte. You cannot separate these rights. What the rights? The right to life, right to liberty, and right to property. That is a liberal understanding of rights. Now, if you look at socialists, if you ask socialists, you know, they will say you that rights is a bourgeois concept. A rights is a concept which is developed by liberals for themselves. Right? Why is it so? First, we need to write their rights. No, concept of rights. What they think? Rights is a bourgeois concept. Why it is a bourgeois concept? Because rights are always legit legitimized by the law. Right? L you know? And who makes the law? The parliamentarians. The people who are influential. Right? The state. The state makes law in order to protect the rights of the individual, the rights of the bourgeois, right? And their interest. Right? And what is a state according to Marx, according to according to the socialist? A state is the, an instrument. If you look at Marx, you know, the classical word of Marx, the state is a committee for the bourgeoisie. Right? So if you look at rights is a bourgeois concept, why? Why rights is a bourgeois concept? Hmm? Because rights is protected by the law. Because rights is protected by, by the law. Right? And who makes law? It is a it is the state. Which makes law. Which makes law. So what is a state? A state is a managing committee of the bourgeoisie. If you look at a state, what is a state? A state is a managing committee of the bourgeoisie. Isn't it? I'm writing at the top. A state is a Bourgeois, look at. So they thought that the state rights is a bourgeois concept. And if you look at in Marxist literature, the concept of rights does not exist. 
they more focus on on freedom exploitation alienation especially the early socialists early you know even the marx in his early phase of life right and they are they are more concerned about equality that we really we are going to talk about now is it clear till by this time yeah shahi harika nupama lal chavinder and everyone is it clear to you any doubt any things you may ask since we have already gone through liberalism just i am explaining you know socialism but just i have to compare with it right so that you can understand the socialist position why socialists talk like this why there is no concept of rights or language of rights within the marxist literature and if you look at any any speech of any marxist leader you can't hear about rights you can hear about exploitation and freedom alienation ex, you know wages working hours you cannot understand you can they, you can find the language of rights ye mera adhikar hai no when you say adhikar hai adhikar is a liberal right it is a, rights is a liberal concept right now let me talk about another concept that liberals you know talk about right they talk about equality right and socialists also talk about equality socialism also talks about equality now if you look at liberals idea of equality what are the liberals idea of equality what liberals thinks about equality yeah very good non discrimination what do you mean by non discrimination a state shall not discriminate anyone on the basis of any a state shall not discriminate any individual on the basis of race caste religion faith and so on so forth right e- equal opportunity equal opportunity that each individual should get equal opportunity right in employment in the market in you know everywhere and also the rule of law rule of law that is equality before law equality before law it means all are equal before the law right that is understanding of liberals equality now if you look at you know here socialists socialists also believe in equality but they don't believe in this this liberal understanding of equality they believe in equality of outcome right socialists believe in you no know, believe in equality of outcome equality of outcome what they call social equality social and economic equality now if you look at how can i define this equality if you look ups UPSC gives equal opportunity to, to everyone this is a very much liberal understanding right UPSC gives a, you know equal opportunity to, to everyone or or any game if you look at the worldwide any game gives equal opportunity to each player to demonstrate their capacity right so if you look at equal opportunity is very important 
right? Equal opportunity is very much important. That UPSC games or any game of the world games, it does not discriminate on the basis of nationality, on the basis of race, on the basis of language. But if you look at outcome, right? What is outcome? If we don't, don't find equality over here, right? Maliji ki koi race lar raha hai. Kesi ko race me laga diya. Example UPSC. Aapne laga diya. But end result jo hai hamara. Yahan par mali yahan par hamara jo contest karna wala hai wo men bhi hai. We have also women. We have also you know. Persons with disability, right? Or it is called differently abled person. We have also SCs. We have also STs. We have also minorities. Who can? Who are contesting? Right? Equal opportunity has been given. But what if only male will come here? Only male. Will be the equality of outcome? No, it is a something different. It is not equality of outcome. Equality of outcome will ensure when only we can find all male. You can find women. We can find PWD. We can find you know SC. You we can find STs. We can find minorities in the final result. In the final list, this is equality of outcome. Right, so it means the equality should be in the at the end result. For example, if government in you know redistribute, or if government you know had made a policy of redistribution, कुछ बांटना है government को. तो वो इक्वालिटी दिखना चाहिए वो एंड रिजल्ट आना चाहिए राइट बिल्कुल एंड जो रिजल्ट है वहां पर इक्वालिटी दिखना चाहिए तभी वो इक्वालिटी होगा राइट एंड दे टॉक्ड अबाउट दिस ऑल आर फेलेसियस इक्वालिटी ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑफ कोर्स दिस इज अ इनिशियल इक्वालिटी इफ यू लुक एट इक्वालिटी ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटी दिस इज इनिशियल इक्वालिटी राइट वेरी इक्वालिटी इन द बिगिनिंग राइट सो दे बिलीव इन इक्वालिटी इन द बिगिनिंग otherwise it is a merit it is a merit and they don't believe they believe that if equality should be at the end result in the society that should be visible right here question comes why do they believe on equality of outcome Why they don't believe on this principle of non-discrimination, principle rule of law, equal opportunity? They do believe, but the reason is it is not a real equality. This is called formal equality or equality in the beginning. The real equality comes only when equality of outcome will be there. Why they believe in equality of outcome? There are three, you know. Religion. They believe that equality of outcome is a social justice. You remember yesterday I was talking about social justice. If you have gone through Frederick Hayek, Frederick Hayek did not believe in social justice. Liberals do not believe in social justice, but they believe no social justice is a very important component to live a life with. Right. So basically, equality of outcome would be a social justice, a social just, right? So I'll I'll answer you just one minute. Secondly, you know, it will be a fair, it will be fair or just, right? And if there is equality of outcome, it produces, you know, social solid solidarity. If you look at there is equality of outcome, it produces social solidarity. So there is a social solidarity, there is a social justice or fairness in equality of outcome. And if you look at 
you know social equality if we attain social equality we will self realize no we all are equal that would be the happiness life that would be a good life look at liberals also had how to live a good life they think this is a good life they think no social equality is a good life right so they think that you know through the social equality of outcome the every needy pe- people will get according to their needs right and it will actually help the self realization right so social equality is needed to fulfill the satisfaction of the masses right and the self realization right so social satisfaction and self realization self realization now look at there are three logic forwarded by socialists social solidarity if we attain equality of outcome if there will be equal distributions you know everyone will feel better everyone will feel the part of their society part of the member it is it is a very much social justice when there will be social and economic equality and that you know economic equality will bring social satisfaction and self realization that life is not life we must live a life with sharing as we say sharing is caring do we say to our child you know initially child does not want to share their toy their you know goods but we say oh baby you should share you should share do we say that to baby why do we say that right now now the question has come from sahil that but it would be unfair for capable one if 90% and 70% are treated equally now you need to understand see you are right it would be very wrong to treat unfair to a person who earn you know 2 lakh and who earn 20000 right or who has more merit and who has less merit that's a fact but you have to also understand or analyze that why certain person has 2 lakh salary or one why certain person has 20000 salary there are ba- social and economic background tahil now if you look at you know liberals let me talk about liberals the core idea of liberals if you look at liberals they believe in profit they work in profit but if you look at socialist socialist rejected this idea profit and they said that you know production should be carried to satisfy the need of the masses right so if you look at production is carried for profit here production is for profit here it they talked about the production right or economic in management must satisfy the need of the masses right need of the masses right i'm making sense shahil so this is a fast now the liberals believes in you know private property they believe in private property they don't believe in private property they believe in common ownership if you look at they believe in common ownership 
right? They believe that if we live a common life, it will be a happy life, it will be a good life, right? So individual interest, we must sacrifice for the society. Tahil. So if you look at socialists, think that individual interest must sacrifice, must be sacrificed for the larger society because society had given us many things. Right? Now, if you look at liberals' beliefs in private property, it believes in individual. Right? They focus on individual, they focus on society. This is a basic difference and their understanding is different. Right? Yeah, socialism is clearly a counter. Yes, yes, it is a just opposition to the capitalism. They just wants to they just want to take away the wealth from the hands of the capitalists in the name of equality. Uh, this is one motive, yeah. This is one motive. Of course, if you look at the socialists, they don't want unfreedom. They don't want exploitation. They don't want alienation. And they think that property has its own role. If you look at liberals, liberal liberals believe that product liberals have different understanding of property. Socialists have different understanding of property. Of course, socialists wants to, you know, give a common ownership to a property. Right? Of course, in the name of equality. Yes. Okay? So you see the socialist is a just opposite idea of liberals. Okay, Sahil? Now, let me talk about more thing. Right? So we talked about equality, where liber liberals believes in... Liberals has different belief in equality. Socialist has different belief in equality. Socialists believe in equality of outcome, right? Why they believe in equality of outcome? Because equality of outcome gives a sense of social solidarity. Equality of outcome, you know, is a fair thing. It is a just thing, right? It is a social justice that we should focus on rather than accumulation of wealth. Because wealth has created problem, right? Look at Plato. Plato also thought that the, you know, this wealth had created problem and that's why there should be common ownership of the wealth in his idealist day, right? Similarly, he thought that, Marx thought that there should be common ownership, right? It will give social satisfaction and self-realization to everyone, right? Now, if you look at, so, this is a right the, their understanding of justice. If you look at liberal understanding of justice, they believe in liberal beliefs in distributive justice. Right? What do you mean by distributive justice? The market distribution. Right? They believe in market distribution. What do you mean by market distribution? Right? The market will distribute according to the talent. Right? Someone is an engineer, then engineer will bid accordingly. Someone is housekeeper, housekeeping, that person will get accordingly. If someone is technocrat, right, or medical professionals, that person will get accordingly. If some person is labor, that person will get according, accordingly. So market is a major institution for distribution, right? Market here is to distribute according to the market. According to merit. Uh, Janice has not come here, right? Today, Janice is absent. Okay, fine. 
I now if you look at they believe not in market distribution, they believe in estate distribution. Right? They believe in you know redistributive justice. They believe in you know or they believe that a state should do this distribution. What do you mean by redistribution? Right? Sara Kam state karega and a state will distribute, not the market. That's why it's called redistribution. The market to accordingly dega, the state usko le lega. Now then the state will redistribute. Right? For example, I'm earning you know 50,000, then the state will take everything. And then the state will give me according to my need, for example, 30,000. So 30,000 to everyone. Right? Or maybe 5,000 difference, 30,000 to me, 25,000 to someone, 28,000 to someone, 23,000 to someone. Right? But the difference should not be like someone, if someone is earning 50,000, then someone is have no earning at all. That would not be there. Right? No, initially, initially, when there is a transaction of A's, uh, Anupama, if you look at socialist, of course, they talk, thought that a state will wither away. But, you know, until there is a state, a state will manage economy, a state will manage distributions, right? And when the state will wither away, right, then the self-organized committee, because there will be self-ownership, no? common ownership. Everyone will have ownership into that, you know, any, you know, ventures. Making sense? There will be common ownership. But when there will be a state ownership, a state will, you know, do redistribution. Otherwise, of course, when we are, you are the owner of a particular venture, you can have claim over that. Right now, if you look at property, I was talking about. If you look look at the property, liberals. If you look at property, liberals believes in private property. Right, private property is an essential part of liberalism philosophy. Now, if you look at socialism. Right? They believe in common property. Common ownership or you can say social ownership. Socially owned property. If you look at, I don't know how many are you from village area. In village area, still there is many things are socially owned like pond still we have a pond which is we own socially right so there are many you know socially owned right and if you look at socialist wants to abolish private property wants to abolish private property they think that private property is a root cause Private property is a root cause of all problems of exploitation, of creation of the state, and so on and so forth. So they want to, you know, abolish private property. Right? Got idea? Now, if you look at, you know, uh, liberals, they believe liberals believe on a state. They believe on limited state. You, are, as you know. Liberals believe in limited state, but if you look at socialists, they don't believe in a state. Right? They think that a state is an instrument of exploitation. They think that a state is an instrument 
of exploitation. Right? So, if you look at socialist idea, if I talk about in one word overall, overall, the you know, socialist has agreement that we don't believe in liberalism, we don't believe in capitalism. Capitalism is a very much exploitative system, right? It produced alienation. It has created the state of unfreedom for people, right? And therefore, we must establish an alternative socio-economic order. And that socio-economic order will believe in common ownership of property, right? Social equality economic justice or social and economic justice you will live a community life and there will be cooperation and mutual aid among the people and there shall be classless and stateless self-governed society overall if we conclude here you know since i had to explain only socialism right because you cannot understand socialism without understanding liberalism because socialism was just challenging liberalism. Why challenging? Because of the factors. Why socialism had different ideology? The idea, of course, there was a reason. So if you look at overall, socialists have agreement on few ideas, right? They believe in abolition of private property. They believe in common ownership. They believe in social and economic equality. They believe in justice, social justice. They believe in community life, they believe in cooperation and mutual aid among the people and they staunchly believe in stateless, classless, self-governed society, right? And their, and, you know, their objective is to establish a, you know, egalitarian society, right? A equal society and that equal society will give more happiness and more, you know, prosperity among the people. Right? Prosperity among the people. Yeah. Did you get the idea? Now Sahil has uh, raised a question that, Sir, I'm confused whether they want to stay or not. They don't want to stay, finally, uh, Sahil. But if you look at from liberalism to socialism, there is a transition, no? Right? If you look at this is a phase of liberalism or capitalism, you say. Right? So, how you can change from liberalism to socialism? You cannot change directly. There will be transition phase. That is also he called socialism. Right? And that will be dictatorship of the proletariat. What Marx called about? Dictatorship of the proletariat. And later on, you have to, you know, evolve to communism. This communism or socialism, this phase of socialism or communism is a stateless and classless, self-governed society. This phase of, so here they don't want, finally they don't want to, don't want to stay. But, you know, if you look at, this phase is a longer phase. So not, this is a phase of transition, and here, a state has to manage. A state has to focus on redistribution. Am I making sense now? Hmm? Got the idea? Okay, okay. Now, if you look at, you know, socialism, so socialism evolved in 
UK and France because in UK and France there was a heavy industrialization there was a capitalism and that capitalism has produced a very much you know unbearable condition for the working class and therefore if you look at we have seen that working class used to work 14 hours 16 hours right there was no holiday there was no fixed wages even the capitalists used to employ you know the women and teenagers so that they can have to pay less wage right and the working class life was very much unorganized they had no wise or you know and therefore you know the students of the uk and intelligentsia of course the professors had raised the voice like saint simon in the france and you know robert owen in uk and they thought that we don't believe in liberalism we believe in socialism right we believe in socialism and if you look at the socialism so there was a early socialist if you look at early socialism that evolved in mid of 19th century like saint simon pj prudhon you know charles fuller robert owen and so on so there was a early socialism and this early socialism has offered a moral critique to capitalism like right? if you look at they you know they had criticized liberal political economy they criticized the liberal the philosophy of free market right and they attempted to provide an alternative socio economic order right so basically this was called you know ethical socialism ethical socialism early socialism was ethical socialism why is it so because they provided ethical critique to capitalism they offered ethical critique or moral critique to capitalism right they rejected the philosophy of free market the philosophy of free market right and if you look at they also appeal to the ruling class you know they appeal to the ruling class to bring changes to bring reform to you know in order to bring socialism in order to bring socialism now you know socialism now a bit they thought that socialism is a rational idea right socialism is a rational idea it is a good you know a alternative a good life now if you look at liberalism they also afford a philosophy that we can live a good life through the individual liberty but they rejected no we cannot live a good life through the free market philosophy through the limit you know through the free market philosophy or or you know the capitalism we can live a good life through the socialism now that why called they called ethical socialism so early socialism was called ethical socialism now what happened when marx started writing about this marx and engels now marx and engels does not only you know marx and engels provided revolutionary socialism right marx and engels provided revolutionary socialism so if you look at revolutionary socialism they talked about class struggle right they talked about class struggle they talked about revolution right they talked about social change through revolution
why this social change you know why this social change is needed the marx has interpreted you know dialectical materialism you know that he interpreted historical materialism he interpreted the surplus value he interpreted you know the alienation the theory of alienation how capitalism is a you know very much exploitative system and if you look at marx and engel provided you know a uh, revolutionary socialism but after marx if you look at again in the later period there are many version of socialism there are many version of socialism in the west right and what are the many version of socialism right the many version of socialism was right there was a russian version of socialism right basically there was two version one those who followed marx and engel then there was a revisionist that we have already talked about if you look after death of marx there was also revolutionary right so let let me talk about after marx itna samajh maya the early socialist the ethical socialism who they offered moral critique to capitalism they rejected philosophy of free market and they appealed to the ruling class right in order to bring reform and social change that is socialism now if you look at marx and engel they provided revolutionary socialism and what they marx and engel called early socialist what was the marx marx or engel acquisition of early socialist anyone utopian yeah 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 marx and engel called early socialist as a utopian socialist they thought that utopian socialism is this this is utopian socialism because they have no clear vision how to bring socialism marx had systematically explained the nature of capitalism marx had systematically systematically explained the history as you already know historical materialism marx systematically explained the nature of exploitation the alienation that you know marx systematically explained how revolution shall take place right and marx called his version of socialism as a scientific socialism what marx called this was his version of scientific marx called scientific socialism right now so this is a you know two version of socialism is it clear to you now the early socialism and the marx and engels version of socialism yeah sahil raghu harika anupama chavinder and everyone right now i'll talk about what happened after marx right what happened after marx now if you look at after marx and engels marx and engels provided scientific socialism or you can say that or revolutionary socialism right but this you know later on there was several changes right now you have also here revisionism so you have followed of marx called orthodox marxist if you look at here after that there is a major two version of socialism orthodox so orthodox marxist marxism or you say orthodox socialism right what was the orthodox socialist they believe in the marx idea now if you look at in germany there is one person who changed the idea and whose idea was you know revisionist and he was edward bernstein who believed that 
that socialism can be brought through parliamentary democracy. So this is a German division, right? By this time, if you look at many country came up with their own version of socialism, right? For example, in UK, there was a Fabian socialism. Right? There is a guild socialism. Again, UK. If you look at there is a Fabian socialism, there was a guild socialism. Now, if you look at, you know, in Russia, Russia, there was an orthodox socialism. If you look at Russia, there was an orthodox, orthodox socialism. In Germany, there was a revisionist. Who was the proposer of a revisionist? Edward Bernstein. He was, he thought that socialism can be brought to evolution. So if you look at, there was a revolutionary socialist. As Marx thought about, they were also evolutionary. The re revolution, socialism come through a gradual process. Now, if you look at Fabian socialists also talking about the gradual process. We'll talk about in France. There was a, in France there was another version of socialism. If you look at France, there is another version of socialism. Right? It's called syndicalism. Right? Now, if you look at China, there is China. In China, there is another version of socialism. It is called Maoism. Right? In Russia, there is another version of socialism. Because in Russia, if you look at, you know, Lenin brought some changes. It's called Leninism. Right? Stalin brought some changes. It's called Stalinism. Now, if you can see that there are a numerous versions of socialism. In Cuba, if you look at Cuba, Cuba was a Latin American country where, you know, the Marxist uh, led a revolution and got success and where the philosopher on, and revolutionary Che Guevara. Have you heard about the word Che Guevara? Che? Yeah, Che Guevara. Che Guevara was become famous. So their version of socialism. Che Guevara has different version of socialism. If you look at, you know, African. In Algeria, there was a Franz Fanon. Franz Fanon has different idea on socialism. Right? If you look at Algeria, right? Uh, he was Franz Fanon. So you can say, see that there are different version of socialism that evolved. Now socialism has become omnipotent everywhere. And by the mid of 20th century, we can see that 40% of the government who ruled the you know, country claimed themselves as a Marxist. Do you remember when I taught you Marx? And in my introduction, this was the line. You remember? Sahil, Harika, Lal, Tagu, Savinder, everyone? Okay. So there was a different version of socialism. Confuse ya gay. Confuse you wake in Vabita. Kisari Bawa Sara version I kya kare ab kya kya kare. Right? Ab is kutha simplify karenge. We will simplify this. Right? Now how can we simplify? First we need to simplify. Right? That if you look at socialism, the early socialism. They were ethical socialism and they were evolutionary socialism. They believe that socialism will socialism will come through gradual process. So there were evolutionary socialism. So they were also called ethical socialism. They were also called, you know, the evolutionary socialism.
Why? Why? They call the Uvasana Sosilium? Because they believe that that socialism will come through a gradual process. From to a gradual process. So early socialists were called ethical socialists and evolutionary socialists. So this is the early phase of socialism that is mid 19th century. Now Marx and Angel can call evolutionary socialists, right? Marx and Angel. This is called revolutionary socialists. Socialism. Why? Because they believe that socialism will not come by a gradual process, but it will come through a revolution. Through a revolution. Right? And as I have already taught you, the Marxist revolution itself was a revolutionary as well as revolutionary. I have taught you that Marx socialism, it's not a purely revolutionary socialism. It is a revolutionary as well as evolutionary. Revolutionary, when working class shall do revolution, there shall be dictatorship of the proletariat. If you look at Marx, they talk dictatorship of the proletariat. It's called dictatorship of the proletariat. Right? So here socialism will come. Here it is a but it is a transition phase. Through revolution, if you look at this is capitalism. So from capitalism to socialism, we have to of course through revolution, but it will be a transition phase. And again, through gradual process, there will be communism. So if you look at Marx. Revolution itself is a Marx socialism itself is a revolutionary and evolutionary. Right? So just I wrote this because to explain how Marxist revolution was a socialism was evolutionary and revolutionary. After death of Marx, what happened after that? After that, Marx socialism remained in two directions. One is revolutionary and one is evolutionary. You know, so before Marx, Marx and after Marx. So after Marx, socialism remained in two broad variety. One is called evolutionary. Right, they thought that Socialism will come through gradual process like revisionist. That was German version. Right? They believe that you know so socialism will will bring will come through gradual evolution. Look at Fabian Socialist. Right? Look at the Guild Socialist. Look at syndicalists, right? Socialism. These all are, you know, evolution. Now look at revolutionary socialism. Right? Like Lenin. Lenin believed in revolution. Stalin. All were, you know, for example, Mao. All were revolutionary socialists. So basically, after the Marx, we can divide socialism into two parts, revolutionary and evolutionary. Just I have tried to simplify this. Clear? Making sense?
now try to understand try to i hope there was some issue some confusion if you have any confusion ask me let's give a break for 5 minutes and then try to understand okay if you have any doubt you can ask me and then we will move a little ahead not now Did you get the idea a bit what is socialism what is the basic understanding sir can be in class exactly at 10 we have college at 10 10 yeah exactly we will do that don't worry don't worry about that was it boring class i hope you know i explained one by one one by one and did, didn't give you gap in you know in the due course of time so did you get the, did you get the idea what is socialism how socialism we can divide one thing i will say but will say uh, let 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 little later a oh, fine no problem i'll i'll just end the class after uh, at exactly at 10 o'clock right and you take uh, 10 minutes time to your journey right hmm theek hai i will do that any query no query did you get the idea harika nay ragu lal shavinder shavinder did you get the idea samajh mein aaya clear hai okay fine fine right so <clears throat> if you look at the socialism there are different version of socialism right एक चीज और मैं बता देता हूं आप लोगों को राइट इफ यू लुक एट सोशलिज्म ऑफ कोर्स सोशलिज्म वाज इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय यू नो द न्यू फॉर्म्स ऑफ डेवलपमेंट लाइक एनलाइटनमेंट सोशलिस्ट वर आल्सो रैशनल दे थिंक दैट रैशनलिटी इज गॉड दे वर रैशनल and they were also concerned about happy life and good life and good life they are the the final concern is happy life and good life they are rational if you look at liberals liberals are also called rational right and their purpose is also happy life and good life right now how a happy and good life can be provided so they thought that individualism right freedom right rights ah uh, constitutionalism right these are the basic you know for happy life and good life right equal opportunity equal opportunity to have a good life now if you look at socialist they all you know they don't they believe that living in society is good one rather than giving priority to individual they believe that you know right if we have a social equality social equality and economic equality that would be good social and economic equality is good for happy life and good life right now if you look at they believe in common ownership right common ownership that would be a good life right self governed society you know they talked about you know self governed society 
here you can see that self governed society if you look at gandhi was very also you know very much concerned about self governed society where he talked about gram swaraj what is gram swaraj gram swaraj is a self governed society gandhi that did not believe in a state the modern state he talked about modern state is a you know very much you know a concentration of violence Gandhi, of course, was different from Marx in terms of economy, but in terms of self-governed society, Gandhi was very much concerned about the self-governed society, right? Now they talk about you know cooperation and coordination, cooperation and coordination among people. in society to live a good life now look at their version of their vision is different now their vision is different their vision is different so basically liberalism and socialism both are two world view two political creed you can say the two perspective to look at the world to look at the life am i making sense everyone so socialism has their own idea of life their own idea of society their understanding but purpose is here goal is happy life and good life right they think that this should be they believe in rationality It's not that not rational. They are very much rational, and they think that you know a social life or community life, community life is a good life rather than individual life, right? So this is a uh, certain things that we should understand. Today I will not talk about you know the another version of socialism, right? In the last next class. of course we'll talk about the socialism and the this all version of socialism we'll talk about fabian socialism right revision revisionism we'll talk about guild socialism i'll talk about syndic syndicalism then i'll talk about lenin what lenin talked about stalin talked about mao talked about of course they all come from come in one category called revolutionary or orthodox marxism orthodox marxist right they all come from come in that category so today i will not talk, talk about of course we had i had given you a lots of thing to you know uh, discuss right to so, thoda sa is text ko padhiye acche se jo already aapko text mila hua hai और मैंने समझा दिया है कोई भी डाउट हो यू कैन राइट टू मी थ्रू ईमेल यू कैन आस्क मी इन द क्लास एंड टुमोरो विल टेक अप वन बाय वन राइट आई विल टेक टू और थ्री क्लास इन वन क्लास आई विल टॉक अबाउट दिस ऑल ऑल वर्जन ऑफ एवोल्यूशनरी सोशलिस्ट no in 5 5 minutes of course in 5 to 10 minutes 5 minutes we are going to i can't start new beginning i cannot begin begin new new topic so there is a concept in marxism that class in itself will change into class for itself <laughs> yeah 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 see this is very much you know something uh the play of world basically i know the mark right so there is a concept in marxism that class in itself will change into class for itself so if you look at in liberalism right if you look at liberalism here here you have class two class one is bourgeoisie and one is under the proletariat right that is working class
and here you have bourgeoisie that is owner owner of the means of production owner samajh lo direct means of production samajh are bhai kya means of production kya means of production jo production ke liye zarurat hoti hai that is called means of production now here the job if you look at the both class one is exploiter and another is exploited right now here if you look at class in itself so what is class the proletariat 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 is a class right who shall do the class struggle if you look at class struggle what is class struggle class struggle is a struggle between the exploited and exploited right now what is the purpose of this class proletariat to do class struggle to do revolution right to establish dictatorship right and change the this one private property now after that there will be a class again the class here you know see see this class or no class no class itself is a class so this class itself will change a to class for itself a class well there will be no class this is very much philosophical and also the play of word anupama so here it will be a classless society when you say that classless society classless society here it is a class for itself class you know so it will change this class will change to a class for itself that is classless society making sense to you it needs you know the mental exercise it needs mental exercise to do i hope i'm able to yes tahil did you get the idea are you able to read his uh, her uh, comment first you need to understand question and then you need to understand answer right jab the question samajh nahi aayega hum answer samajh nahi sakte so it's very important to understand question first and then try to attempt answer tomorrow is raksha bandhan how many of you are celebrating it sabinder hmm there will be class tomorrow so celebrate it but just after the class no sir you don't celebrate i think it of course it is a you know i uh, i don't know about the territorial expansion of this this festival but in northern india it is a celebrated no class ha huh? no class itself is a class oh festival starts at 7 am okay where where early in the morning we used to play like in the childhood grow up Ravinder, morning sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got your point. I got your point. Fine, all well. So uh, I hope you everyone have text which I had given for it to you on political ideology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ravinder. So do you have everyone Harika Raghu Lal everyone have this text Ha ha both hai yes Shavinder you are right Do you have text everyone on socialism So let me stop here and uh, you know till tomorrow where we i'll talk about the variety of socialism 
right in revolutionary as well as in evolutionary right and then the another version of socialism that we we will also talk about that is new marxism right let me stop here see you.